if you choose to use structured and you already know the right arrow generates a new pattern if we hit the right arrow and the first time you use it uh, it's not it's going to take a while when you, right after you launch it just be patient and then it cycles through rather quickly um, looking for something I can use I'll just use that other one that and we'll go ahead and save that um, and we'll switch over to the finder and now if I wanted to use this I'm going to use this one because this is even dimmer and it'll be a better example for you is you can click and drag this on Photoshop or right click and say open with Photoshop you can also open this in Illustrator but for right now make sure constrained proportions is on this has to be on I've got the resolution at 300 and this is a pretty large image so the 6000 is going to work just fine I'm going to click OK and now with the crop tool come down to the crop tool and change the preset from original ratio to one by one square and then you can make this smaller you can click on it and then move this around in order to get it just right you can even rotate the background in order to find what it is you know you want to work with and let's just say that's it that's perfect so I've got delete crop pixels on because I don't want the rest of this saved if I hit return now I've got just these pixels here now these are really dark and this isn't the greatest crop in the world and this image probably isn't going to lead anywhere but I just want to show you that under image these three can work wonders auto tone seems to work well um, sometimes a little too well with structured but that's how you get the bright colors your results may vary you can undo and play around and see what these different settings do what the heck did that really do nothing it really did nothing that is unreal so auto color didn't work it does work sometimes and it works better than auto tone on some images uh, these are all different have fun with this you can also take that base image if I hit command Z you can also turn this into a smart object and take it into camera raw and the first if you click on auto you're gonna get something similar but you see we don't have that glaring yellow in the middle so depending upon what you have you're gonna to have to try different strategies but I will tell you you got to brighten these things up for the most part um, all depends on your base settings I kind of like transparency so we can see through so I have low opacity settings you will have something different